What's up everyone? Welcome back to Random to Rank 1. Now today is probably going to be a special episode because I am recording this during DreamHack Atlanta, which makes it quite likely, not guaranteed of course, but quite likely we're going to be running into some really high level pro gamers ranging from the best players in the world down to players that are probably still a little bit better than me so it could be very very cool now before i get started just want to say that i am getting a little sick so this is probably going to be the last video for a while i mean depending on how i feel of course i've been uh, you know i got all the stuff that i need i got some honey i've been making my tea and stuff so who knows but it's probably going to be the last video but i might do a stream and in general i kind of wanted to make a small announcement that i am going to be doing a couple more streams i feel like in combination with random to rank one on youtube it would also be perfect stream content to just stream a couple games so if you guys are missing a video maybe you're gonna see me live on twitch not gonna guarantee that i'll be there while i'm sick but you'll see for now let's begin first kind of day is gonna be against Sephiron, a grandmaster protoss all right let's see i kind of feel like i, I want to get zerg actually I, I feel like a, a zerg game i would love to go for like some ling drops or something uh let's see oh we're gonna get protoss yeah i I, sw I swear i feel like playing random is so freaking weird now like for the most part i just get protoss i think in the last 10 games that i played i got protoss like eight times or something so i guess we're just gonna continue where we left off last time you know so in the last episode i had this really good cheese against a 6k protoss on the european server where i saved all of my chrono boost went for a four gate with two different proxy locations i think yeah basically one here and one here something like that um and what happens most of the time in pvp if you proxy is that the opponents find it and you're gonna think then well what what's the point of the proxy don't you just lose well in pvp it's it's always a little bit of a mix-up between playing one gate expand playing greedy or playing cheesy like there's not really any middle ground like going for two gate expand on maps like this, it would be all right, like with no ramp. I think two gate expand against two, two gate expand is fine. But for the most part, you're kind of trying to cheese the guy who's greedy or defend against the guy who's cheesy and that's it, right? So finding proxy pylons is incredibly common. Like you would think, well, Mark, you have to work on your freaking proxy locations. Well, probably true as well. But I, I, I really think that it's quite normal that they find it. I also, m maybe if I proxy is, let's say I proxy a Stargate in that scenario. I wouldn't mind building it far away because the units are fast and it's really more about the surprise factor. If I'm going to play, uh, you know, a three gate or four gate push, like in this case, I'm going to be going for a four gate. Then I really just need to hit as hard as possible and fast, in, especially if my opponent... Wait, can I... Okay, I'm going to do something a little crazy here, guys. I'm going to proxy here uh, because it's right in the scouting path and I expect him to look for something. Now... This could be a mistake here. Uh, and the main reason why I think it could be a mistake is because he didn't really scout my main that much. Right? Like, I... I okay, so he came back now. Okay, this is perfect. Because now he's going to see all the freaking chrono boosts. And that's what I want him to see. This would be really funny. The most obvious proxy location ever. If that's the one that works out. That would be freaking hilarious. So I'm going to make one more uh, probe here. And I'm going to start a gateway over here. Uh, and where is the other one going to be... Probably on the left side, I think. A little bit of a lag spike there. Hope it doesn't continue. Uh, when you play on the NA server, you always are gambling a little bit because you can play on Australia and Brazil and Singapore and East-West Central US, right? So it, it's not like the European server where there's just one server, right? But you, you have a lot of options. So sometimes you're going to play on a very laggy server. Sometimes you aren't. I even had this weird thing back when I was playing on a NA from Europe where the Eastern US should have been my best server. But for some reason, that was the laggy one. Oh, okay, he didn't check for a proxy. He went straight to the middle. Okay, so this time is not going to work out. I still think it's all right. Yeah, it looks like he was checking for it anyway. Wait, that is just one stalker. That means exactly he went for a low ground expand. Oh, okay, that looked like a robo. I'm a little scared of the robo, and the main reason is that I played a PvP before where someone tried to 3-gate. I think that was a 3-gate, not a 4-gate, where they tried to 3-gate me. And I went for a really fat... Well, was it actually a robo? Yeah, it is a robo. Okay, I wasn't crazy. And I went for the robo in response, and it was a fantastic response. So that is going to be a little scary. I'm going to have a lot of freaking units here, though. Let's see how fast I can go in. Okay, I'm going to do something insane here. I wouldn't recommend this, but I'm going to go for a Stargate just so I can make Phoenixes. I, okay, so he has battery overcharge. He has to use it instantly. 
the battery overcharge here. Uh, in case you don't know what that implies, it implies that he has, or no, it, it confirms that he has uh, the Nexus over here because otherwise he wouldn't be able to use that. So he does have the Nexus, which means that I think we have a really good window to kill him here. Like, uh, he doesn't have battery overcharge anymore, so the Immortal is probably going to die, I think. Let's see if I... Oh my god, I'm micro it all perfectly. Here we go. I'm going to try to come back in here. Let's see. Okay, he's going to lose that Immortal now, and I think that already means that he's going to be done and dusted for it, to be honest, because now I can kill this Pylon. There's no battery overcharge to save this Pylon, and even if there was, I'm going to be able to Chrono Boost a Phoenix, which would help me deal with the Immortal. Oh, man, this strategy is very freaking cool, isn't it, guys? I think I'm just going to target the Pylons here, actually. I'll get one battery just so I can warp in and get a little more surface area. And then I'm going to go for the second pylon over here. I do have to go for that pylon because the Immortal is yeah, easy, the biggest thing that can threaten me. I mean, now I already have the Phoenix. He's going to be very surprised seeing this Phoenix probably. He's like, wait, what? Why is there already a Phoenix? That's right. If you're going to have an Immortal, I will be lifting it right away. And there we go. A dub on the board. And this is exactly the game I wanted to see when playing this strategy. When you play against a random ass Protoss, you, this really is the the best thing you can do is a mosquito here somehow that's the best thing you can do to wall on the low ground and go for a fast expansion because that is the best in every single matchup but if i go for such a hardcore cheese where i save every single chrono boost for the warp gate it is incredibly difficult to hold now he could have played a little safer he could have made the robot before the nexus then it really would have been interesting but i'm happy to know that my theory was correct this strategy is insane when they play how i expect them to let's go for game number two all right, game number two is against Blizz Janitor. All right, the Blizzard Janitor. Is that the guy that's making our now and then patches? What was the word I was looking for? Our, our rare patches, maybe? I'm not quite sure what I was looking for, actually. But all right, we're going to get play a PvT here. Wait, was I Protoss in the last game? Yeah, I was... Dude, I'm telling you guys, you can only get Protoss if you play random. It's, it's just... It's crazy. I guess this is just going to be a Protoss to rank one series. Or maybe, according to the statistics... If I record 21 games per video, I will have one Terran game in there. So maybe that's that's what I should be doing. I should just be, you know, recording <laughs> 21 games per episode. That way there'll probably be at least one Terran and one Zerg game in there. Now, in the, yeah, before I was getting a lot of Zerg, but now I'm getting a lot of Proto, so I don't know anymore. Actually, this, hey, this is something new. I'm going to make the gateway extra fast. This was a 15 gate instead of a 16 one. I don't think I've ever tried that before. I'm going to go for the Proxy Nexus build again. Uh, and the main reason I'm, I actually really want to do other cheeses against Terran as well, but the main reason I'm going to do it now is because we're playing against a really high MMR opponent. And I think, oh my goodness, this mosquito is actually a freaking nightmare. How are those things alive? It's freaking, it's freaking December. Uh, but anyway, I, I'm going to do it because he's a really high MMR opponent. And I would love to see how it how it works if it can work against someone that good. Let's see. I'm not going for a double gas. I'm actually going to steal his gas here because that is really annoying, and I do like being annoying. As you guys probably already knew from watching my videos in the past, or if you're welcome here, I do like to be annoying. So there you go. Uh, let's see. He didn't make an orbital yet. I guess the barracks not quite finished. He's going to steal my gas in return. Now, that's kind of rude. I'm, I'm, I'm making the rules here, guys. He's not allowed to steal my freaking gas. Okay, so he's going to go for the command center, I think. Um, let's see. Oh, you, you, wait. He's going to lose that one? Oh, he's going to lose that one. Very nice. Okay, I still need to make a pylon, actually. Uh, Pylon is before the... Yeah, Pylon should be before the Nexus, I'm pretty sure. Got a little bit confused there with everything that was going on. Now, the reason why I like going for this um, gas block is that he can't go for a double gas opener, and that would mean a very fast factory. Wait, did he... Is he making something, or is that... No, he wasn't, right? Wait, I, I, I wonder what was... I feel like something just, just happened, and I don't know what. Oh, he was building... Is that a... Is that a broken skin? Like, either I'm blind or that skin is freaking bro. Like, to me, it actually looked like he wasn't building anything or maybe he was already finished somewhere. I I don't know. I feel like my brain malfunctioned a little bit there. So I guess I guess we'll figure out later what happened. Now, he doesn't realize there's a freaking Nexus in his base, guys. And it's because I killed his SEV. Uh, so he didn't actually get the check on whether my expansion was there, which is pretty freaking huge. So I'm going to just park the Adept over here for now. Uh, that gas is going to fall momentarily. No, this, I feel like this is the perfect situation for me. This makes me even more curious as to what is going to happen. It, it, it seems like the Reaper is being kept at home as well, which is pretty freaking fantastic for me, if I may say so. I'm going to Chrono Boost this one more time. And I'm going to cancel that so I can make my Nexus already. Let's see. I mean, the Reaper... Wait, this is actually so fun. Like, there's no way he hasn't seen that, right? 
Like, is he making a bunker in range or something? Or no, I, there's actually nothing there. Okay, well, this is going to be quite the ride. I guess a uh, good choice would be to go for the Dark Templar strat then. And we're going to make a gas first. And now he's going to see that there's three adepts in his base. And he's going to be like, wait, what the hell is this? Okay, here we go. Three adepts are here. Wait, it is possible that he thinks it's not a nexus, but that it's a, a freaking pylon, right? Like, I could actually see that. Okay, wait, should I maybe... I could go for a marine as well. Okay, I'm gonna get one more adept out here, so I don't really have to worry about it. Yo, these adepts are gonna do so much damage. I think I've killed... Uh, this is gonna be my 10th worker that I'm gonna shoot now. Let's see, I'm gonna go for another one, and then I'm gonna go over here. Um, I do need to make a couple more gateways to deal with the cyclone later on. Wait, I wonder if I can keep this barely out. Look at look at that probe right there, guys. You guys see that probe right now? That, that probe has potential, okay? Oh my god, dude, for a second I thought I used the, uh, the the idle worker key to get it back. I'm gonna go for the dark shrine now. Where did my adept go? I do want my dark, uh, dark for what's it called, my adept over there. I'm gonna make a battery over here. Guys, the only reason I'm making the dark shrine now is just because of this probe. I, it, I think it all depends on where he A moved his things, right? Because the uh, army is going to move somewhere as soon as his Nexus dies. If that is not a rage of the probe, that'd be freaking funny. Let's see, where are they going to A move? They're not A moving yet. Guys, this probe is still freaking alive. Guys, this could be so massive. So he's going to scout the DT Shire. Maybe I can actually just uh, cut him off a little bit. Oh, maybe I can kill him like this. Okay, there we go. That is very nice. Let's see. Are the units still here? The units are no longer there, guys. This freaking probe over here. Is it possible? Is it possible that that probe is going to freaking do it for us? Now, he is going to... That's the tech lab, right? Yeah, he is going to go for a raven. There is about 20 seconds to go. Just please... Oh, he's not checking, guys. Oh, okay. I'm getting excited here. I need to make sure I don't die to his attack, by the way. Like, he could totally just attack me. Uh, and I would be in a little bit of trouble. I think I'm going to go for a double gas. Um, what do I want to do as follow-up exactly? I'm not sure. Like, I don't think I'm going to kill him with this. Mostly because he is making the raven already. Let's see. Okay, three DTs. Are they going to be just in time before the raven? I, I think they very well might be, guys. Let's see. I'm just going to send two into the mineral line over here. Hope he doesn't have like too much detection. Let's see. Wait, I'm just gonna look. Look at my probe. Just wait. Am I gonna get another pilot out there? No way. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm in all of his bases, guys. He has two tanks already. He was prepared for uh for like a frontal attack, but not for freaking DTs. GG has to be called. And there we freaking go. All right. The 5A Terran falls to the most disgusting Protoss cheese ever. The proxy Nexus, which he didn't see. Three of that skill. How many works? 13 workers were killed. One of those was by my probes, I believe. One or two. Because I remember something weird happened in the UI that kind of made my brain explode. So one or two were killed. 11 or 12 workers killed by the freaking adepts. And then that hidden probe in the exact perfect spot outside of Rage of the Fighter warps in 3DTs. And that was the game. He was even a little... Okay, this is actually nasty. He was a little bit supply blocked on the Raven as well. I mean, to be fair, look at the energy. He was soon going to have one scan. And I had my DT spread in three places, so he was always going to be super far behind. But this supply block was just an assault in the wood. But this was a freaking beautiful random cheese. Let's keep it going. But game number three is going to be against Cacti, a Grandmaster Terror. Now, this Terran, I remember the name. Guys, how are we always Protoss? Like, I swear, random is the most bug thing ever right now. I should I actually, I think legitimately I might contact someone from Blizzard because it's... It is not like, I mean, first of all, the MMR bug is already a thing. Like, you guys probably have noticed that my MMR never displays in the loading screen, right? Like, actually, just never, um, which is the first bug. And then I, I swear that the race selection, it's just, it's not, it's, it's not right, okay? Like, I, I, like I said in the last episode, I'm not a mathematician, but it's, it's not right. So, now, I do have an idea for... You know what? I have another cool protocies that I want to try. Uh, actually, I have two more cool protocies I want to try against Terran. The first one is... Oh, wait, why were there... Oh, I, I guess he saw me. Did I Did I miss him? I guess I, I probably missed him, right? On the way. Why else would he have two freaking workers there? I guess I just missed him on the map, which means he's on the way to my base already. Um, so one of them is a proxy gate build that I think I mentioned in the last episode. And the other one is going for an adept void ray timing attack, which is a build that I really like. I think it's time for me to maybe get a gas on here, but just... Not even because... It, wait... Did you guys see that juke? I juked the SEV by making the gas. Yeah, that was that was not intentional at all. But first, someone is gonna call me, you know, some kind of micro god. That that was not intentional. Okay, I do not deserve credit for that whatsoever. Like, what the hell was that juke? That was freaking insane. You know what? I'm actually gonna let that live. 
Uh, mostly because he's just wasting a little mining time trying to kill that, right? So I, I, I don't really mind that at all. Uh, let's see. Sending four workers now. I mean, the expansion should be going down right now. So that is always a little suspicious. Oh, I should have cut that probe, by the way. That's a little bit of a mistake by me. Now I need to cut the next probe, which doesn't make the build flow as well. So there we go. He's going to eliminate that now. Um, could there be a proxy on the map? I think there definitely could. So I do need to keep that in mind. I need to make, take my own gas as well. Now, how do I do the Adept Void Ray build? I, I am not 100% sure, actually. So I, I think what I want to do is make Void Rays go like three or four gated depth, probably stop making workers at some point. Oh, he, he stopped me from uh, taking his gas again. You guys saw that? He was terrified. He, he knew I was coming for that gas again. Uh, I should probably cancel the warp gate for a little bit, actually. Uh, I'm going to... I'm not going to send this one out yet. I think I'm going to make the Stargate first. Then... Like, how many, wor how many workers do I really need for this build? I kind of feel like it's not that many. At the same time, I also don't want to, you know, skimp too much on uh, on making workers. Because if this attack does... I feel like against Terran, you do always want a backup plan. You don't just want to, you know, go for one attack and finish the game. Because against Terran, most likely what's going to happen is that you will do a serious amount of damage, but you still need a follow-up. If you don't have a follow-up, if you don't make tech units against Terran, you will just get owned by a freaking huge bio ball, right? Like, that's just kind of how it goes. Like, you need a solid follow-up with... Uh, units that actually work, which can be a lot of different things, but you still need to find, you know, at least one of them. I'm going to start a couple gateways here already. I feel like the amount of workers I have is already pretty good here. Um, do I really want to make more than that? Oh, he does have a bunker. That's a little annoying. Like, I, I sent all my adepts across the map, kind of thinking that he would... Uh, or, like, I would be able to do some damage, right? But now, I don't have anything to stop him from scouting my base. So I stopped at 27 workers. I'm not really masking it or anything. Normally, I do like to add mind games here. I'm not masking anything at all. I'm gonna make a gateway here. So I'm gonna go up to four. Let's see. Oh, might be able to get one of those. Oh, well, I think I'm... Should I go for this? Probably not, right? Actually, I, I am tempted to go for it. It's just, I, I, wanna, I wanna, you know, shave the marine count down a little bit. That's what I wanna do. Let's see, I'm gonna be able to. Let's see if I can get the target fire on that one. There we go. Okay, that, what is that? Five marines? I hope it was five. It could have been four. Uh, I'm still pretty happy with it. I know it's not a good trade on paper. Um, but yeah, I, I think I can only kill him if he doesn't have like a really big mass of marines. I think that's the only way I can get something done. I don't know what he's doing behind this. If I'm gonna meet like a cyclone on the map right now, uh, then then we're just obviously screwed. So let's see. Now, good thing that I don't need that, that much gas to go for a depth. Here, we're gonna be able to kill one of these. He's probably gonna be like, "What? Why is there? Okay, <laughs> that's, I think that's exactly what went through his head. He's like, "Why? Why is there that?" And then he's like, "Okay, wait, I need to defend." So I could wait for three void rays, or I could go with two. Uh, I think I should probably wait for the third one, else there's not really that much firepower. I'm just gonna shade in two adepts to not show him exactly what I have. He has a freaking. Why is there a turret now? I, okay, well, I mean, sure. I, I guess you would say it's against the Void Race, right? Like, I guess it makes sense, but... He made an engineering bay for that, too. Like, it's not like that's particularly cheap. What does he have in his main base? That's what I want to know. Like, this guy has something, you know? He, he he's, he's cooking something. I just don't know what it is. Let's see, I'm going to go for the bunker, obviously. I'm going to shade into the main first. Um, should I go for it? Actually, I do think I'm going to go for that. Because that's so many freaking adepts. Here we go. He's going to go for Stim. He's doing a three racks, which is probably the best possible build he could have done. And we're still going to be able to get so much freaking damage done. Guys, I have three Void Rays here now. These Void Rays could maybe camp his production forever. Is this enough Void Rays to just keep him hostage forever? Look at this. And now I'm going to be able to make more adepts as well. Wait, is this actually going to work out? I think I'm just going to beam down his reactor super fast. There we go. Uh, I could I could probably kill the barracks as well. Like, he, he can't get marines out anymore, guys. And now, I'm going to get more freaking adepts. Wait, I'm probably going to just go for the SCVs here. Like, the, uh, what's it called? The depots are down anyway, or they're dead, rather. So, I can just stay here. But this is freaking brutal. Oh, my goodness. Well, no wonder I wanted to try this cheese. Because this is awesome. And I really feel like he had one of the best builds possible. But still, it looks like he's in a massive amount of trouble here. Like, how many units can he really have? He's going to lose another barracks over there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he does have a lot of turrets, but what are the turrets really gonna do? Guys, I'm in range of the command center here, by the way. Look at this. I'm in range of the command center, and his units can't really hit. Check this out. I'm gonna make a couple more adapters here as well. I need to keep warping him. I don't want his 
Um, let's see. I, I can beam down. No, no. I, I wanted to go for the Cyclone instantly. Decided that it was not that great of an idea. The SCVs are dead. Did I even really lose anything here? Oh my goodness. I still have three Void Rays. Fourth one was flying into a third, I guess. Knowing myself, I was probably going to click that on the Cyclone and kill it. But all the Adepts are alive. And all right, guys. I think we might have one of my new favorite builds here. I mean, this was very chaotic from the start, right? I do have to say... Um, this was the game deciding moment. If I look at what he has, the Terran should be winning this game every time. I feel like I, I've said this a couple times, but sometimes I get myself in situations and I'm like, if I lost this one, I would be embarrassed with myself. This is a situation I would be very unhappy losing because he's going to have Stim. He has a bio ball. This is the perfect anti-cheese that he has. But then, uh, I don't know if he wasn't looking or if he was just really confident. Okay. Oh my, wait, look at that realization. You guys saw that? I'm gonna just wait for the shade to happen. I wanna see. Like, he must see the shade. Okay, so the shade is coming in now. Okay. Oh no, he actually misses the shade. And then he looks, you guys see, he looks at it, he sees it. His camera jumps back up and he's like, wait, what? And then he sees all the adepts on his marines, he stims, but it's obviously too late. And as soon as the snowball mass was gone, he was completely dead. But I really think this build that I did is gonna be better against another strategy. But that's enough talking. Let's go to game number four. Game number four is against the Barcode Protoss. All right. Now, this is what I was talking about in the intro. There's a decent chance that this is going to be a very high-level pro. And we got Zerg. All right. So, I mean, that does confirm to us that uh, it's not completely bugged. You can get the other races, but I still think there's something a little off. You know what, guys? I might do an experiment later where I just re-log between every game. Um and see if that changes anything because it does since someone in the comments earlier posted that you can only get zerg it does seem like it might just go with the first race you got for a bunch of games in a row or or something like this right because uh, how many Terran games have I played in total? I think it's probably like three or so in this guy I think I've played three Terran games in total and at this point we are at 35 games I mean yeah I mean I guess it could be worse but you know it's also a little little crazy now, this is not the best map for Ling Drop, so that's a little unfortunate for me, because I feel like if I ever was going to beat, you know, a super good Protoss, let's say this is one of the best Protoss players in the world, right, which is very possible on a barcode. Could also just be, you know, a normal Grandmaster, but I'm definitely thinking something is a little suspicious here, right, with an unranked barcode coming in uh, during the dream hack. I think the best chance I would ever have to beat them would be with that Link Drop build, because I feel so confident in it. But this map is simply not going to be the best for that, so I guess... We're just going to have to see. Like, I can always drop in the back there. Uh, but it also doesn't really feel that comfortable, right? Okay, so I'm going to take the hatchery over there. As you know, I don't really mind that whatsoever. Th this map normally is super uh, Protoss favored, by the way, against Zerg. If you, you, I'm going to tell you guys something funny, okay? This map is so good for Protoss that a uh, professional Zerg player, one of the best in the world, Rainer, uh, he chose Protoss against Serral, who is the best player and best Zerg in the world on this map, and he won. Okay? That's how good this map is for Protoss. Now, Rainer's Protoss is obviously pretty good, but this map, I I don't think he would have been able to make that happen if it wasn't, like, a really good map for Protoss, right? So, I think that says enough. Definitely gonna have to make it happen pretty fast. Now, sometimes people play a little too scared against random, so if we're lucky... That is going to be the case here. Like, if he didn't wall off on the low ground immediately, that is going to cost him a little bit. I, I I think... Freaking mosquito. I think there is one spot that I can use the link drop in, and it's actually here. Okay, so the Nexus is going down. I don't see the wall yet. I guess it's possible that the wall is still there. It could also not be there. Yet, yeah, it's, yeah it's, indeed, it is a delayed wall. That is what I was looking for. He's going to make a Stargate. Okay, so we got the free scouting, which is really nice. Um, and it's already a pretty decent situation for us anyway. No, wait, I think I made a couple links too early, actually. That's a bit of a mistake by me, but maybe I can scare him off with it. Uh, I think I'm going to do what I said and just drop in here. I feel like that's the only location uh, in which I can make something happen. I, I don't really like going for that. Um, and mostly it's going to be because the units are going to be in the natural as well. Like, it's not just going to be the Oracle. It's going to be every unit here. Oh, this is very annoying for him already, actually. Guys, I'm going to be able to get two probes. Yo, this is three probes. Yo, this is the random Zerg effect, all right? That is absolutely beautiful for us. Let's see. I'm going to start spamming links like crazy. I do want this one to live. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to be able to kill this one uh, for sure, actually. Let's see. There we go. It's going to die now. And all right. That is a really good start for us, guys. Now, what am I going to do behind this? And normally... 
definitely go for the hydras here i'm not 100 sure i think i'm gonna go for the spire over here let's see uh, so i killed one of his adepts and i killed a bunch of probes already too those are both really really good for me gonna make a third gas too now let's see what we can do here guys the oracle is uh, undoubtedly gonna finish pretty soon Wait, I, I don't think I can drop them out of uh, out of vision, so I'm just going to go for it instantly. Here we go. The links are in the natural. Yeah, this is really, really good. Oh, that freaking, uh, what's it called? The battery finished just in time there. That is quite unfortunate. I'm just going to saturate this instantly. Uh, if he wants to fight with the Oracle, then I will just put them in the overlords over here. Okay, there he turned them on. There we go. Let's get these in the overlords, and then I'm going to start a spire. Let's see. It's still turned on for now. I'm going to make a couple more drones. Uh, now, let's see. I mean, at some point, it's going to run out. He is making another Oracle. Yeah, he did wall on the high ground. That was what I expected. So he has another Oracle now. That one is going to run out of energy. I could probably go ahead and kill this Adept. Or, well, I can threaten to kill the Adept and wait for him to turn on the lasers. Exactly. He's working... Wait, he has two gateways already? Oh, I guess it's because he had to wall this off really fast, right? Yeah, that does make a lot of sense. Okay, I'm going to drop these as late as possible so the Stalkers don't kill him instantly. He has both Oracles activated, which is pretty crazy as well. Now, I do think my strategy here, it could still totally work out, but I need a little bit of luck, of course. Let's see. Is he going to find it? Well, maybe I can sneak it to the main base, actually. I saw the direction the Stalkers were going in. Let's see. Okay, I should be able to get past. Well, no, he's going to have a warp in probably, but let's see. So he does warp in a depth there in time. He has the Oracle activated, which means he's not going to be able to use it offensively. And now, yeah, I don't quite have enough drones yet. Oh, I might have made these gases a little bit too fast. Like, the Corruptors here would be so nice, but I, I don't have minerals. I think I'm going to have to go for the Mutas right away. But then again, Mutas are going to be pretty easily countered by the Stargate if I can't make that many right away. I also made a couple too many Overlords. I think with Zerg, you always want a few too many. But here, since I was so low on the Minerals, imagine if I had two less Overlords here, I would have been able to make a couple more Mutas right away, which is awesome. Okay, so now he sees uh, the Spire. If I was him, I would totally go for some drones, by the way. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, I'd be very surprised if he doesn't go for some drones. Okay, so I'm going to be able to kill one of those Oracles, which is really nice. Maybe even a second one. Um, and then he's going to see the Mutas finish. Now, let's see. He's going to have enough Stalkers. Uh... You know, if I if I had the money to go for Corruptors here, I would be pretty excited for this. But I think I might have just mismanaged my economy a little too much. I also made a couple extra links that I really shouldn't have built, to be honest. And let's see, there should be a, one Phoenix out already, I think. No, there's no Phoenix yet, surprisingly. Okay, there's, oh, yeah, there's two Phoenix. He was just hiding them, all right? That makes sense. I have enough Vidas to deal with these Phoenixes. It's just going to be a little bit of a micro battle. Let's see, he's probably targeting that one. Exactly, he was targeting it. This is what I thought. Here we go. Now, this is going to take a lot of APM from him, so it's pretty funny, to be honest. Let's see, let's click that one back. Okay. Not going to be able to get some more damage. I do like the Revelation. The Revelation, definitely a very good move for him. Now, let's see. I'm going to go up back to my 44 drones. He is going to see. Yeah, the revelation is making it is a lot easier for him for sure. So there is a third Phoenix. Um, corruptor. Like, how many mutas to corruptor ratio do I need? That is the question, right? Uh, let's see. I'm just going to make a couple more corruptors. I think I want at least like five or six. I think that sounds all right to me. I'm going to rally them over here. I, I would imagine that he's sending the oracles to revelate these already. Uh, would actually be a little bit surprised if he didn't. Okay, so now he's going to find Corruptor number one. Obviously, I have more than enough Corruptors, so I don't really have to worry about that. Now I'm going to make a third base and an evolution chamber. I think those are the two things that I want to build so I can go for plus one links. Yeah, the truth is, guys, I'm going to be super far behind anyway, so it's always going to be a little sketch. Let's see, how many Stalkers is he going to have? That is a lot of Corruptors. I need my Corruptors to show up right away. I'm not quite sure why I used the battery overcharge there, to be honest, because I was already targeting that. There is... Uh, what the hell? You guys... Oh, it was an oracle. You guys saw that? It was just... There was just a dead, like, drone body there. And I was like, what the frick? Like, there was nothing there. Okay, that was really funny. Okay, let's see if I can target some probes. I probably have enough to kill a couple here. Here we go. This is going to be some decent damage. Not quite enough yet. Like, the phoenixes are freaking menacing. Like, they really are. Okay, so I'm going to go for plus one link. I really need to just make drones and mutalis corruptor. Because otherwise, I, I can't imagine ever really coming out of this, to be honest. Let's see, I have a bunch of Corruptors here. Uh, so I can't fight against the Mutas, or, or fight against the Phoenixes, rather. Well, it's going to be a tight trade. He's going to focus fire the Mutas, it looks like. 
Uh, I mean, the Corruptors are doing a pretty decent job here, but really good target fire by him. You can definitely tell we are playing against a high level opponent here, guys. This is not just your average, you know, Grandmaster player. Let's see. Okay, he has DTs now as well. Wait, it wasn't a DT earlier, right? Like, it was actually just, oh, no, I'm going to lose that. I'm not going to be able to save it in time. I, I can't believe he went for DTs in this situation. That is pretty freaking insane. I mean, I was kind of wondering, like, where is the stuff at? Like, why does he have so little? The Corruptor's also just a little bit too slow uh, to deal with those DTs, unfortunately. But I think I might have lost the Overseer, and that is going to be it here. GG has to be called. And, wait, he was going to get to carry... No, he wasn't... Okay, I... I I saw this, like, Stargate unit building and plus one attack, and I was thinking, like, oh, it's going to be carries, but no, he was just making Phoenix. He was playing two Stargate Phoenix uh, as well as Dark Templars, and yeah, he just defended really well. I do think this map... Honestly, probably going to be a no-go. I think if I want to win this map as Zerg, I will have to do something a little more drastic like Mutas, but it's just a little too big. Like, even the Link drop, even though it got in and did a little bit of damage, you just can't do enough damage because the Oracle and the Adepts are going to be in the same space. That's the biggest strength of the Link drops. You kind of, you know, force them to split their units, and that's what does the damage one on this map. It's not possible. Proxy hatch, it's decent, but you can't even proxy hatch in the wall because this gas is too close, so you have to, you're limited to a very certain amount of proxy hatch you can't spine rush because the wall is too far away under the ramp this really is going to be the worst map for my zvp chases by far like i think next time i get this i don't want to veto it because i'm playing every race right so there's going to be a lot of different builds and interactions and stuff but next time uh i could go for swarmos perhaps that's another option i have or a nidus i think those are really the two options maybe like some kind of corruptor build but it's just really hard to see it work when you can't have a good early game. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my cheeses. Triple Protoss win. Protoss still looking very, very strong. Zerg lost, but yeah, to be honest, with this map and probably playing as a really good opponent, I'm not really going to blame us here. But that's going to be it. Hope you guys had a fantastic time. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure to check out my stream when I'm live. And I'll see you all for the next one. Adios.